the first European Congress for local government took place in Krakow and welcomed over a thousand politicians and experts from Poland and other European countries. Around 60 plenary sessions were held in five thematic groups – finance, economy, environment, innovations and society in the regions. The European Committee of the Regions was one of the main partners of the event, making the connection between the EU institutions and the views and expectations of local and regional authorities. Okazją o debatę na temat wyzwań, jakie stoją przed samorządowcami, o kształcie polityki regionalnej w Unii Europejskiej, ale również w naszych krajach. Cieszę się niezmiernie, że ta wymiana dyskusji, możliwość korzystania z dobrych praktyk odbywa się właśnie tutaj w Krakowie. Regions and cities gathered in Poland to discuss the European Commission's new strategy, a new investment plan for Europe, to strengthen Europe's competitiveness and to stimulate investment for the purpose of job creation. Żebyśmy się skoncentrowali, skupili na istotnych elementach konkurencyjności i innowacyjności. Temu mają służyć inteligentne specjalizacje, czyli ściśle określone obszary specyficzne dla danego regionu, które będą najbardziej efektywnie budować rozwój i tylko tam będzie kierowany strumień środków z Unii Europejskiej. Zwłaszcza tam, gdzie będą powstawać nowe propozycje produkcji czy usług najbardziej wyrafinowane technologicznie, te, które potrafią na światowych rynkach konkurować z najlepszymi. Backbone of the plan is a strategy to mobilize 315 billion euros of additional investments. Priority would be given to the areas of infrastructure, education, research, innovation, renewable energy and energy efficiency. The plan explicitly mentions the role region and cities should play in supporting and managing the investment projects. The new resources will come on top of the European structural and investment funds, which have a huge impact on local and regional development. In particular, in a country like Poland. Możemy korzystać z funduszy europejskich. W przypadku województwa małopolskiego to blisko 3 miliardy euro i chcemy te środki zainwestować głównie w regionalną politykę energetyczną i w podniesienie innowacyjności naszych przedsiębiorstw, upatrując w tym szansy na poprawę jakości życia naszych mieszkańców, na lepszą, lepiej płatną pracę, ale również na bogactwo regionu wyrażane w produkcie krajowym brutto. Universities and research centers have to be challenged to speed up the innovation process, since it is at the key for growth and new jobs in Europe. The so-called education cloud is another example of better integrated tool with the existing global knowledge. The challenge is to integrate this uh, educational cloud of the Malopolska region to be a part of this uh, Nova Hota development, so integrate better the young generation which will, after five to ten years, be the key researchers at the university level. Not just researchers, but as well academic entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs in, in general. But to properly assess growth and regional development, the EU must deal with proper indicators. It bases its policies on GDP instead of regional indicator or even well-being indicators. The OECD proposes to go beyond the only income indicator. Working on well-being a few years back, but we were looking uh, at, at countries basically. And now since last year we started to look at regions. And why is it important? Because, you know, policies take place at the local level. Uh, local governments and regions are basically the point of contact between societies, between individuals, between citizens and their government. So it's very important to understand their needs, to understand their performance, to understand the demands of the population, uh, which is better to understand really at the regional level than at the national level. We gain more insights. Regions and cities play a key role in the European Union. They provide the backdrop for smart and sustainable growth. They absorb more than two-thirds of public investment and they are the front office for 500 million Europeans. Factors such as cooperation with external partners will play an important role in obtaining structural funds in the coming years. The Congress brings hope for an enhanced cross-region cooperation, more innovation and integrated community of policies.